YouTube, it's your regular Joe Justin here, back to give you a quick informational video. I, I uh, when I first got it started out with the AR-15s, I asked this question and uh, did a, quite a bit of research on it. And it, everywhere I went, I got a more complicated answer than I really needed. So that's what this video is going to be, a quick down and dirty, the differences between .223 and 5.56. Now... 223, this, this one here, they're both this, I'll, I'll back up for a second here. These are both PMC ammunition. This one's in 223. Both of them are 55 grain full metal, the full metal jacket. Once again, 2.223. And this one is PMC um, X-Tac. It is 5.56, and also full, 55 grain full metal jacket. As you can see, these, these are the respective rounds in each case. Not really any difference whatsoever in the two. Um, you, none that the naked eye would be able to see anyways. So... 223. It is the civilian designation for the for that this round. 5.56 is the military designation for this round. The big difference, and everybody asks, can I fire 556 in my rifle that's chambered in 223? Or can I fire 223 in my rifle that's chambered for 556? It is yes to one of those answers or one of those questions, excuse me. If your rifle is chambered in 5.56, you can fire both 223 and 556 out of that rifle with a, without any problems. You uh you generally a lot of people say you get more accuracy with 223. I don't know how true that is. I haven't ever found uh, a big difference. I'm not a match shoot shooter, so I guess I wouldn't know. But if you have a rifle chambered in 223, you cannot fire 5.56 through that rifle. You can find these markings on your AR-15's barrel, or if you've got a bolt action that's chambered in 5.56 or 223, you'll find it on your barrel. Um, reason reason why you can't fire 5.56 in the 223 is this this round, this 5.56 5, 5 round fires it. it, it fired in a higher pressure. Um, that means that in the chamber there's higher chamber pressures which basically equates to um, you know a, a higher amount of pressure per square inch or PSI and and then the 223. So that means that your, your rifle would be at risk of um, basically exploding so your your bolt or your receiver might split or you know it could er injure you or anybody by you. So it you know you can't safely fire 556 in a rifle chambered for 223 so that's just kind of the quick down and dirty on the differences in the two am um, the two um, cartridges they're basically the same um, the walls of this this cartridge the brass itself is a little bit thicker um, so and that's what that what allows it to be fired at the higher pressure if you guys got any questions or you want me to uh, go a little bit more in depth, I'd be happy to get a specs sheet out and, and go as in depth as possible. Um, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll, I'll be sure to try to answer them. Um, once again, guys, thanks for watching For Joe's Buy a Joe and have a good rest of your day.